What's up people of the interweb, how are your things? I'm back once again with another quick tutorial to show you how to set up emulators on your Wii U. If you haven't watched my previous tutorial on playing backups from a USB drive, please do so now as you'll need your SD card and Wii U already set up in that way for these emulators to work. If you need it, I've put a link to that tutorial in the description below, but if you've already done so and you're ready to go, let's jump right in. First off, we need to take our SD card from our Wii U and put it in our computer. You see, you need access to the internet again. So you don't have to, I've compiled all the stable and working emulators that are currently available for this Wii U mod, and I've put a link to them in the description below. I'll keep an eye out for other stable emulators as they become available also, so feel free to bookmark the link and check back regularly. Okay, so simply click on the link below and when it opens, right click on the folder and choose download. When done, find the zip file, right click and choose extract to apps. This is where we will find all our emulators. You need to copy the entire contents of this apps folder to the apps folder on our SD card. So select all, copy, go to the SD card, Wii U, apps and then paste. If you followed my previous tutorial correctly, you should already have a homebrew launcher and WP installer folder in the same place. That done, we need to back out to the root of the SD card and create a new folder called ROMs. This can be set up any way you wish, but for ease of use, I've created more folders within mine to identify which system the ROMs are for, and I suggest you do the same. It will speed things up, help avoid confusion, and make more sense along the line as you add more and more ROMs. Please, please don't ask me where to find game ROMs. A simple search using your favourite search engine should be able to bring up hundreds of results, offering them all for free. Some sites even have full ROM sets for each system available, and a link to that site might even be in the description below. But ROMs are everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Check under your seat, you're probably sitting on some. A quick word of warning to all those not familiar with emulation is that all of your ROMs need to be unzipped for the relevant emulator to recognise them. This is absolutely essential, and will give you errors if not done. So don't forget to check your selected ROMs are unzipped before copying them to their folders on the SD card. When you have your desired ROMs copied over, we must put our SD card into the Wii U again and turn our attention back to the internet browser. Click on our pre-saved Wii U homebrew launcher bookmark, and when Lowdown page opens, we must select the latest available version from the drop-down box before pressing Submit. This will load the homebrew launcher and show us all our emulators we've added to our SD card. Before we get to playing any games at all, I'll quickly go through the controls. All these emulators are based on their RetroArch counterparts, and so have common layouts. To navigate the main menu, you use the Wii U's D-pad, and to load a game RAM within your selected emulator, press A on Load Content, SD card, once more when the ROMs folder is selected, and then navigate to the suitable ROMs folder. Select your desired RAM, and finally A once more to accept your core. Depending on the size of the ROM you've selected, this may or may not take several seconds to load. If at any stage you wish to return to the menu while playing your ROM, simply touch the Wii U's gamepad screen. By pressing B, you can back out to the emulator's main menu, and if you desire, load another game ROM, or alternatively, quit the emulator by selecting Quit RetroArch using the A button. This brings us back out to the Homebrew Launcher's main page. From here, you can access any of the other emulators available to us, or press the Home button to exit completely. As in my other tutorials, this brings us to within the Mii Maker first, and you must exit via the X on the bottom left corner to end up back at the Wii U's main screen. I hope you've benefited from this tutorial, and as I mentioned, I'll keep an eye out for what other stable emulators become available for this mod, and will add them to the shared folder as they do. In the meantime, enjoy, thanks for watching, and as always, keep it retro.